folks. I'm going to be doing a demonstration today for a basal bark application treating an ash tree for the emerald ash borer. Uh, to get started with this, we need to talk about a couple of things. There are very few insecticides, one that will treat the actual emerald ash borer, and two application methodologies that will get that insecticide into the tree so that it is effective uh, against that insect. We want to make these applications in spring and summer. We really do not want to make the applications in fall or winter. Reason being, in the spring and the fall, the plant itself is moving nutrients, uh, sap, other metabolic processes both up and down into the tree. In the fall and the winter, the, the tree itself is actually moving most of its nutrients and metabolic processes down into the root system. Okay. Once this insecticide gets applied, we want it to move up and down, and that's why we want to do spring and fall applications. Uh, just to help you understand a little bit better, we are using Xylam, which is dinotepherin. Okay, very very specific. It is labeled for uh, emerald ash borer. It's also labeled for basal bark applications. Very important that you understand that you follow label directions. Another important part is that we are using a high quality organosilicone surfactant. This is the most important part of this basal bark application. If we were to use the insecticide all by itself for a basal application, it really would not get through the bark and treat this tree effectively. We have to use an organosilicone surfactant which has a translaminar effect allowing that insecticide to go through the bark and get into the actual tree layers that move insecticides and nutrients up and down through the tree. Most important part. Lastly, we are going to be doing this application with just a simple one gallon pump sprayer. Okay? To get started, we need to make sure we know the diameter of our tree. The diameter of the tree is how we figure out the rate of the insecticide, organosilicone, surfactant, and our water. Okay? So, diameter, not surfactant not circumference. So this would be circumference. We're not measuring that. We are actually measuring diameter. I measured this before we got started. This is a 14 inch diameter ash tree. Based on that, if you go to emeraldashkicker.com, they have a rate calculator. On that rate calculator, for a 14 inch diameter ash tree, you will use six ounces, six fluid ounces of xylene. Don't let this be confusing. Once again, if you order from Emerald Ash Kickers, you are gonna get this applicator of surfactant. This applicator is measured in milliliters. This tree for a 14 inch diameter tree is going to take nine milliliters. Again, please understand it's measured in milliliters, not fluid ounces. Finally, for this 14 inch diameter tree, we've got our water needed to mix in, and this is gonna be 110 fluid ounces of water to treat this tree okay there are rate calculators look at those double check your label make sure you have the right mixture going on here last part before we actually make this application a basal bark application for this method is going to go roughly five feet from ground up or or chest level so we're going to spray from here down to the root flare now I pulled this bark away so that I could actually identify where the root flare is and that's where the trunk and the roots begin to uh, intersect. And we want to spray from that point all the way up to five feet. Before we get going, the last part that is important is that we're using the proper personal protective wear or equipment, okay? It's very simple here. We've got gloves, long sleeve shirt, pants, and shoes. And that's all that we need to make this application. So let's get started. I pump this up. I have everything loaded into my pump sprayer and we'll begin. You really want to spray this almost to the point of runoff and that is okay. We don't want the product running off to the point in which we're getting a load in the soil at the base of the tree. But you want this heavy enough where it just starts to run on the bark and that's good because we know we're getting good coverage so I'm making this very very close spray once again based off of our 
our rate calculator, we know that this entire volume needs to go on this tree from five feet up all the way down and around the entire tree. want to ask why are we doing this particular treatment there are other treatments one being a soil drench another being a foliar application the reason we're doing the basal bark treatment is two parts one we get one full year of protection on our tree using this methodology the second component is that we are going to use the least amount of chemical to treat this tree in our opinion, that's the most environmentally sensitive application that we can make to protect this tree. Um, beyond that, visit emeraldashkicker.com. They have a lot of information. They want to help you. Thanks for listening to this video. We hope it helps you save your ash.